Hi guys, you're looking at a modular synth patch we've created a while ago in my beginner's tutorial. Now I want to add more modules to this patch and dive a little bit deeper into the modular world. And I also will give you a quick overview of this patch, but if you still have no idea what's going on here and no clue, <laughs> Please check out the original videos. There is a long video where I explain really every cable connection in detail. And there is also a super short version in case you don't have much time or just want to refresh your memory. And of course always check out the show notes under the video and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi. But now let me finally start with a quick overview of this patch. Um, this is the host MIDI module, our first module, and we need it in order to grab the MIDI signals that are coming from the door and more importantly from my keyboard. And we've also made it polyphonic so that I can play many notes at the same time for a chord for example. And here's also an ADSR envelope for our attack, decay, sustain and release times. And two voltage control amplifiers, one and two, because the actual sound comes from two oscillators, oscillator one and oscillator two, the VCO. But the output, the saw output in this case of the second oscillator goes into a filter and the low pass filter output goes into our mixer. Here we can mix both our oscillators nicely together. And the stereo out is going into the host audio module, which sends all the audio, all the sound back into the door so that we can hear something. And last not least, we have this LFO going on, the low frequency oscillator, which is just modulating and moving the cutoff filter in the VCF. And this is how it sounds so far. And this nice whoosh or wah effect, uh, wah wah, is coming from the LFO and the cutoff filter here. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. No, let's better talk about um, a little technical problem. I say technical problem, you know, because as an artist, there are no really problems, especially not in a modular system. You can do whatever you want. And uh, the worst thing that can happen is, um, that you connect a cable and, and, and nothing happens <laughs> or the opposite uh, that you get a crazy sound you didn't expect or something like like that that's more or less the worst that can can happen uh, no i'm talking about a little problem with the vcf with the filter because only the second oscillator is sending its sound into the filter and not the first oscillator so how can we do that i just could grab this cable here and try to connect it as well but you see this doesn't work but maybe there is a way to mix both oscillators together and turn them into one input that we can connect with the VCF and of course we just have a right click in an empty area and I think you still know how to navigate the library the huge library here that features this many modules, believe it or not. And by the way, I'm currently on the version 2409, but now I'm looking for the brand VCV. And here's the module I'm looking for, a mix module with many inputs, six inputs in this case, and one output. So let me reconnect the output cable of oscillator one goes in the first channel here and I also need this cable here I go into the second in and then the out back into the filter now we have both oscillators going into the filter and the filter output the low pass filter output goes into channel 2 I change that to channel 1 because it's possible to also connect the high pass filter output with the with the mixer and maybe I turn this signal down because this was our main sound and now I have also the sound of the high pass filter in the mixer Yay. 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 
So I just changed the frequency of the LFO to make it really slow and also reduce this value here. And you know what? Maybe it's the right time to add a delay to our sound. What do you think? A delay is always nice. And of course, we have many options here in Cardinal. I go back to the library and stay with VCV. These plugins by VCV are super great. I, not only in the beginning, uh, they sound great and they are absolutely not that confusing like many other plugins. So I really recommend to use these uh, modules here by VCV. And here it is, a delay. So this delay module has two outputs, the wet output where you only hear the delay and the mix output. And I think we go with this one because it's uh, very familiar. You can see you can change the time of the delay and also the feedback and mix value. This is quite common. But now we are running into the same problem as before that we have two signals and only one input. <laughs> so we need, need to do the same trick and add another mix module. And of course you can do that because we are in, in the virtual world and here's everything free, everything is super cheap. But in the real world you would need to pay like 100 bucks for another mix module. So working with a real Eurorack uh, is very different. Our only limitation is just the power of our computer. We are right now at a 6% average CPU power and this, this is nothing. But I think we'd better take it easy and just go with the main signal, the low pass um, filter output into the delay. And then I use the mix output and, and go back into the channel one. So we just build a bridge here. And now I'm curious how it sounds. Not bad at all, but let me change the ADSR envelope. Maybe I can come up with a cool dub sound or something. And I think this is really a nice thing with the modular system. You know, you can learn to create your sounds right in the moment, in the project. Yeah, and one important question I really want to ask here is, um, think about it. Um, why do you want to use a modular system in your DAW? Is it really to, to create sounds and synthesizer parts in your, in your music? Because for that, I think we have other things that work a bit better for that, okay? We have uh, Vital, you know, all the normal VST synthesizer plugins, which were simply made for normal playing. So what's the point with using a complicated uh, modular system? You know, a modular synthesizer is really a different world, a bit of a different world, you can say, uh, because it's able to play music all alone and you just tweak the sounds and and change the tempo of things just in the moment, okay? And this is the real power of modular systems, in my opinion. And not so much to go for a specific sound that you can create in other synthesizers much easier because they were made for the job. But when it comes to generative music and, you know, self-generating music, that's a thing where a modular synthesizer is really powerful. And this is perfect, you know, whether you make um, ambient music, slow ambient music, drone music, or really atonal, hardstyle techno. But enough of that for now. I just wanted to mention that and uh, so that you have something to think about. And anyway, no matter what you want to do, I will show you how you can connect Cardinal with your DAW in a way so that it reacts to start and stop and runs in the same tempo like the project in the door. And I will also show you how you can let Cardinal run all alone with its own clock. And maybe we start with the last point for that. You need a clock generator. Uh, go into the library, reset the filters and look for a clock generator. Maybe the first one. And you can see that you can set up your tempo here manually, the BPM. And this one can also change the time signature. 
we don't need that right now. And a good way to test this is uh, to connect the beat output, which is one, two, three, four, the normal BPM, I would say. Let's connect this one with the clock input of the delay. So uh, this tempo here should change the tempo of the delay. Let's see if it's working. Absolutely. And maybe you can already imagine what you can do with such a clock. You can use it to fire a sequencer, maybe, okay? So that the sequencer plays a melody in a, in a certain tempo. And you can also change the values here and set it to eighth notes. Or sixteenth notes. You can also crank up the feedback. But I think you can still change the delay time manually. Let's try that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny and cool, I think. But just let's reset the time button here with a double click. Okay. And now we are back to the original tempo. But okay, I get it. You want to sync Cardinal with your door, with the tempo of the door, which is in this case 108 BPM. How can we do that? Yes, you guessed it right, with another module. Reset filters again and go to Brand Distro. This is the company that, uh, or the group of people uh, that um, develops Cardinal. So they provide us with some very basic and super important stuff here. And we're looking for the host time module. And you can see it's uh, really time related here. It uh, shows you the timestamp and also the bar number and position in the bar. Let's just start my project here. I have a little drum beat going on. Yeah, and stop and maybe going back to locator one where everything started. You can see how the numbers change and you could also see how um, everything is blinking here. And we have, for example, this value is the beat value is the same like here. So we could do this trick, connect it here. Then we don't need uh, our internal clock and everything gets fired by the door tempo. And you can also change this to step. Step means it's 16th note in this case, I guess. Yeah, I know that was weird. <laughs> yeah, and I think this covers the host time and clock stuff. And you know, there are plenty of clock generators here in Cardinal. Look at it. <laughs> it's absolutely impossible to explain them all to you because to be honest, <laughs> I'm only using one or two, maybe three different clock generators. But well, I think you know enough now to go on and start experimenting with free music, experimental music. Uh, don't go so much for a certain sound that you can create in Vital or Pigments or whatever much easier. Better dive into the modular world, into the world of noisy, random sounds and self-composing music. And for that, I only give you one more tip. You can get rid of this host MIDI module here, which catches the volt octave values and gate values, like the stuff that's coming from our keyboard when we are playing on the keyboard. But there are modules that put out like random notes and stuff so that you don't need a keyboard. But come on, let's better talk about all of that in another video, okay? Today we learned how to use the host time and, and the internal clock here. And we also learned about the mix module and how we can connect a delay to our music. And your homework is, let's say, 
to add a reverb to our patch and I recommend using let's see what we have here maybe you go for this orange one I think this is very easy to use and good sounding and now figure out a way how you can connect it good luck with that but you can always leave a comment of course and let me know what you think okay and please before you go don't forget to leave a like and maybe you also want to subscribe to the channel this would make me very happy my name is Marcus by the way I thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon in the next one.